Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. And today I'm pretty much making the quickest, shortest video I've probably ever made for my channel. Um, but it's really awesome thing. If you've ever wanted to know how to mute or solo or lock your tracks in bulk with one move, that's what you're about to learn. Okay, ready? So this is it, super easy. Take your mouse, find whatever you wanna do. Let's, in this case, say we want a solo. So I'm gonna check this one here. I'm gonna click it, I'm gonna hold my mouse down, and then I'm gonna just swipe down over all of those soloing buttons and look at that. Do, 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 do. And then if you want to do it in reverse, same thing, click and swipe and they all do it. Uh, the mute does it. Every button over here does it. It's really, really awesome. Um, you know, this is for people who are mixing tons of vocals um, at once or, you know, whatever your purpose may be for using this function, but it's super awesome. It's going to save you tons of time. Uh, I just recently discovered it on GarageBand 10 and uh, I think it's an awesome feature. I know like Logic and other things have been able to do it for a long time, but GarageBand has not been able to do this. And um, it's a nice new feature. So thanks for watching. Um, don't forget, if you want to get discounts on the items that I review, sign the mailing list at garagebandandbeyond.com. And if you ever feel like you want to you know, support my channel even farther, you can go to my Patreon page, which is patreon.com forward slash garagebandandbeyond. And uh, that's it. All right. Shortest video ever. See you later.